This is going to be our video about changing an iPhone I um, 6 uh, U2IC and um, as you can see we've got the board out I hope for all the guys who are already doing repairs or attempting to do their repairs the first time um, I don't think that should be a problem to remove the board out from the body and um, that IC is hiding under this shield which we need to remove and um, we're gonna remove that now uh, most importantly guys we have to cover the IC um, we have to protect it from heat so we just um, it's best to double it double the thermal tape and because uh, we're going to warm it up so let's just double it and simply cover it up like that and we'll start now warming it up try facing the heat away from the IC and uh, Oh, don't pull it really hard it's going to be a soft pull no need to push slowly slowly just warm it up it's going to start coming off very slowly and um, that's it yeah simply just pull it away you don't need to warm it up too much you'll, you'll see when you give it a little bit of tap start will start moving away now this is uh, this is the IC which we are going to replace it's covered with all the glue the and it has to be <coughs> removed slowly 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 just peel that off if you give it a little bit of heat not for too long it will help you removing all this glue and coating so just clean this Um, let's put some flux for it to so because now we're going to remove it make sure we look at the orientation and uh, which way nice it being put it's best to go from this side because you have um, some space to lift the IC once it is ready to be lifted don't pull it hard because that might just pull the pads under it so this is done we're gonna just um, clean it a little bit to see with IPA and uh, just to see it a little better and cleaner so this is all looks clean I'm just going to remove the remaining glue and I'll show how I use to what I do to clean the pads simply just softly try to scrape away simply clean this now we've got to clean this pad so we've got a standard soldering iron I'm just gonna put some flux onto it again <laughs> using a soldering wire I'm gonna make a small blob here I'm gonna gently go over it so just to I think I think I remember I 
the other day I damaged my tip so I'm just gonna clean it like that so my other tip of the thing doesn't work as intended but I was thinking to make this video for a long time so I'm not bothering with that so to change this tip I can get this done with the same tip so now we go back again and clean it and I think we've got the pads a lot more even and cleaner we can put this sideways look under the microscope and I'm sure we got a cleaner outcome now we're going to, I'm just gonna grab the IC the U2 IC Okay, so we put some flux in now to put the IC, the U2 IC. So melt the flux a bit. Yep, that should be fine. That is done, as you can see it here. So, just gonna take it to to fit that into the body now. So let's have a look. Okay. Just requesting my colleague to fit that in, so I can hold the phone now as the replacement of the IC was my job, and that is done. What we want is to just um, test if it's powering on and if the charging is working so we're not going to put in all the screws and because I have to go back and um, fit in the the plate the thermal plate at the bottom so we just quickly test it if the phone is alive if it is dead <laughs> after the biggest operation but I hope, I'm hopeful very hopeful and it looks like a clean fix so it shouldn't be a problem so here comes the moment of truth oh yes here we go and we've got um, Apple logo the phone had the charging problem so I'm going to now wait for it to load up And maybe later on possibly I'll make a small video of the tools which we use they're not very very expensive tools um, you don't really really need to spend thousands and thousands of pound pounds to yeah okay let's plug into a charger and uh, so we've got a charging sign so I think that's that's it guys I will uh, make a video of the tools which we're using and thank you